Yeah, this is nice. It says, first of all, let me say that I hate shopping for cars. This guy, obviously speaking <laughs> for the rest usual. of us. Yeah, speaking for everybody. Yeah. yeah. When my wife and I showed up at Frontier Motors and started walking around, it took only about five minutes for a salesman to find us. After about five minutes of talking with salesman Ray Shy, I realized he was not going to attempt to sell me anything I didn't want or try to put me in a car. <laughs> put me in a car. <laughs> What's man? it going to take to put you in this car? <laughs> After telling him how much money I had to spend in addition to a heavily used trade-in, that well, sounds like mine, <laughs> Ray went right to work showing us several different cars that fit our budget. Seriously, Ray worked his tail off. He answered all our questions, and when he couldn't, he went and found us an answer. I showed up with one of the with that beat-up car and drove it away with two gently used cars. Well, that's cool. That's, Thanks, that's Frontier, and especially thank yeah. you, Ray Shai. There's Thanks another so. one right there below with, uh, right. with another one. Uh, similar to start here, I've had a lot of bad experiences buying cars from dealers before, but this place is awesome. There was no hurry-up-and-buy-now attitude. Mike answered all my questions, Mike who? Mike Murray. Mike, Mike Murray. Murray answered all my questions. Uh, if he knew the answer, and if he didn't, he went to and got the answer for me. He was patient. He showed me the vehicles I was interested in. He let me test drive several before we made a decision. The rest of the Frontier Motors team, excellent as well. They helped get the ball rolling, and while I was bouncing off the walls in anticipation, waiting on my bank, they got everything ready. You couldn't ask for a better selection, better experience, or a better attitude. I've told all my friends and family to go and see Frontier Motors for all their vehicle needs. Hey, Don, don't you have a testimonial also? I do, as a matter of fact. <laughs> uh, I am on my number six automobile, wow. and I would like to say thank you, Frontier Motors. <laughs> Don actually bought a uh, Trailblazer just the other day from us, and uh, like you said, that was a 6-1. And it, he was not he was one of the few customers that actually had to buy a car. And I told the customer the other day, Don, that if uh, we sold cars when people needed cars, right. we would go out of business in a heartbeat because a lot of people love cars, and they will take their really nice car, and trade it for an even better nice car, if that's the right word. Mm -hmm. Don uh, had uh, the, the bad experience of having an engine knock on his, uh, his older vehicle. Yeah, see, this is where we have a little disagreement. Uh, at one rod that was thrown out of eight, there were uh -huh. seven perfectly good rods <laughs> left in the engine. <laughs> I was thinking uh, By my calculation, and yet they took a $2,500 trade-in and knocked it down to 1,000. <laughs> 130,000 miles on this collector edition automobile of mine. Well, I don't understand why I can't take those seven rods out of that engine and sell those. That's and, what I'm wondering. You know, <laughs> well, yeah. It's got to be good for something. Hey, well, okay. I, th I think we all missed something here. It says yeah. here, the rest of the Frontier Motors team was excellent, too. That's us. Uh, yeah, the rest, that's rest of us over here. And, Mike and let's throw Darren in there, <laughs> your finance guy. Yeah, yeah. Darren, the finance uh, manager. We can talk a little we, bit about finance, too. We, we can talk about financing. Darren always wants us to because uh -huh. he's, our, he's our, what we call, F&I manager, finance and insurance manager. Uh -huh. And what he does is he has customers come in to get the buyer's orders to go to the credit union. Of course, the first question he's going to ask you, what kind of rate are you getting in your credit union or your bank? And then we're going to see if we can save you money. Now, contrary to pub public opinion of what you see on shows like 2020, uh -huh. we are not rip-off artists in our finance department. We have a finance department that is there to save you money, and we're the first ones to tell you that if we can't save you any money, we would get the money where it's the cheapest. People are not as loyal to the bank or credit union as they were when, when we started this dealership around 14 years ago. I remember that you had to be a member or have a relative of a member of the particular uh, credit union, and I'm, I'm thinking about the old Monsanto days. Remember Monsanto? Mm -hmm that you could belong to Monsanto Credit Union, but you had to work there. Or you had to have a relative that worked there. Well, guess what? You don't have to do that anymore. Right now, if you're breathing or you go to school or, you're, or, you, or you go to church in Scambia County, you belong to a credit union. Yeah. So people aren't, it's not an exclusive club anymore. And therefore, people are a little bit more readily um, open to suggestions that if their credit union offers them 4.9 financing and we can offer them 4.9, let's say it's 5.9, and we can offer them 4.9 financing, guess what? Years ago, people said, nah, I'm going to stick with my credit union. And I'm thinking in the back of my mind, you're going to pay your credit union or bank more money than you're going to pay to a total stranger that doesn't even know who you are? That doesn't make any sense. If anything, your credit union should give you a quite a better deal. If you come in and tell me, I've been a credit union member for 20 years, well, you better tell them to step up and shape <laughs> up and give you a better deal than me because I don't even know you. Right. You know, so that, I think, is the biggest thing that we offer is the alternative to, um, to well, I guess... 
It's, it's saving money is what it's all about. It's all about we can save your money. money. You go through us, and so much easier. If you can just go with us and we can match or beat the rate, why not just sign up and away you go? You don't have to come back. You don't have to stand in line. You don't have to make an application. Then you don't have to go back the next day to get your check. This is all done within a matter of maybe 30 minutes to an hour and a half and one spot, and you're done. Yeah, and or, you can, or, in my case, you went ahead and put it together with... With uh, Carvester. Right. Right. So, look, I was already there. Right there. Darren yep. did all of that work. Yep. You, then you didn't have to take off time, valuable time. At, uh, valuable big time. Rate. Yeah, valuable time. But the, the credit union, you keep your, uh, we had a gentleman the other day, I mean, you're talking about, uh, he went with the financing through Wachovia, and I said, leave your credit line open in case you want a boat or RV. So I've always wanted a boat. I'm getting one this summer. Yeah. But leave your credit lines open at these credit unions where it's a little bit easier sometimes to get a boat. You know, boat financing is pretty tough right now. Motorcycle financing is a little tough. So if you want something to have fun with, Point. keep that opening with you, with your credit union. You know, Panera's put us on the map. Navy Federal's put us on the map. Uh, Pensacola government, they've all done us well. They've they put Ivan and I and Frontier Motors on the map after 14 years. But there's always the chance you got to compare. Just like we talk about prices, that's why we have all this information here free to you. And many people come to us or they'll call Ivan and we give them advice and we tell them to go buy the car elsewhere. Yeah, but which is unheard of. And what yeah. we're really talking yeah. about is that if you found a car down the road, you can bring us the car. If you're on a test drive and a salesman's with you, we don't care. Right. Bring the salesman to, uh, over to Frontier Motors. Have them stop in. We'll give them a soda while you're waiting, and I'm going to appraise the car for you. I'm going to tell you what to pay. I'm going to do a free history report for you. Yeah. I'm going to walk around the car to make sure the car is a good car. And then I'm going to go into the auction reports like I'm doing right now. They have a Mannheim auction report. Mannheim is the largest auction chain in the world. And it tells me what these cars are, partic- are selling for in our area and what price they're selling for. Now, if I know I can buy a car for, let's use hypothetically, for $10,000 at the auction, I can give you a price quote. Let's say that I, if I buy at the auction, it's going to cost three or $400 to get the car back here. Let's say I've got $10,800 invested in the car. Let's say I want to make $1,200, for example. That would bring it up to $12,000. So I would say if you can get that car that you're looking at for $12,000 at the other dealership, go ahead and buy it because that's about what I'm going to end up charging you. Now, let's say they're at fourteen nine which is a good starting point, but they won't come down below 139 Well, that's a pretty big gap. That's $1,900 more than what I'm telling you. And what that means is if they don't sell you the car for that price, that's when you drop the keys off, you come back to Frontier Motors, and we're going to do what we call a locate, where we buy you that car in the color that you want with the same miles on it. Right now, Ron, I'm looking at the Mannheim auction in Orlando. They have... 3,070 cars already registered for sale. That's not even for another four days. And what I'm getting at is by then, they'll have 6,000 cars down there. They will have that car available, and I will buy that car and get it back here and sell it to you for that $12,000 figure. I'm not trying to kink the deal for the other dealer. I just want to make sure that you get a good deal and that you don't pay too much because you're going to remember us if we helped you get that deal. So the next time you buy, you're going to be on our doorstep not the other dealer's doorstep. And everybody's heard if you've been shopping for cars in the Pensacola Mobile, Fort Wall, and Destin area, that you've went to a dealership and said, oh, we just sold that car. Well, if that's the kind of car you want, call Frontier Motors, 436-8080. We'll go to the Internet. We'll go to the MMR. We'll get the car here. We'll inspect it before you get to look at it. We'll touch it make sure it's all clean and ready to go. Or if you've ever had a salesman tell you, well, you can't find those cars anywhere, don't believe that. I mean, <laughs> here's, here's something that an auto auction that doesn't start till next Tuesday Today, uh, we're taping on a Friday, so we're actually four days ahead of an auction. They'll have 6,000 cars on that auto auction, so don't go for that. You know, if you walk up to a salesman and he, he just tells you something that just don't sound a little right, leave. You know, we had a customer come in about three weeks ago, and uh, they wanted to get a price in writing because Ivan and I, that's one of the things that we make sure it's mandatory. Tax, tag, title, bottom line, who you're buying the car from, the serial number you're buying the car from, the car history report. And they went to a dealer here in Car City. I won't mention the name. I wish I could. I really, really want to. But they said it was illegal for them to give them a drive out figure. And this lady looked at her husband. And her husband almost, almost got it. I think no, the husband almost, almost got it. No, no, the lady it. didn't believe it at all. She says, we're getting out of here now. As soon as the salesman left, she says, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. No, no, no. The husband almost believed it. He, she didn't believe it at all, and it's, it's not true. <laughs> Which means that we would be illegal. We're, yeah. we're Ooh, defying the law. The, the crime around the corner.